welcome back. Now today what we're going to plant are some runner beans and these are called White Lady and we're also going to plant some more herbs, some coriander. I love this, this is just gorgeous. The leaves taste wonderful, they're very nice if you mix them with cheese on toast and some tomatoes as well, they're gorgeous. But then when the seeds come out, then you can use the seeds in curries and other lovely dishes. But first of all, we're going to start with the runner beans and I shall show you how I will do those. Now you can by all means plant these straight into the soil, but with the way the weather is in the UK, I tend not to. Now these are the seeds, they are just huge and you see them they're massive so we will plant these and I'll show you how okay now I prefer to plant them in pots because I just feel that they're slightly more protected now when we plant them we don't put them flat we put them pointing down okay now we're going to put these in pots little pots because I'm going to put two in each um, I'm going to put them in pots because then they're easier to transplant out once they've got a nice root system going down the, the bottom. All you need to do is tip them out and we'll put them in a hole and uh, they can go up there run a bean. So we'll just put a couple just so they're sticking out and then you know where they are. And then when we've filled all those up then we'll just push them down. Do you remember with other things just this first knuckle so we'll just push them down to that first knuckle, there we are, and then we'll just cover them over. This compost I watered beforehand to give them a good start. The pots I filled practically to the top, okay, with compost. So push it down, push them both down, just cover up. If you need to put a little bit more compost on the top, then do. Now I'm going to plant most of these because I'm going to save a few for somewhere else um, so I'll just carry on doing these and I will come back to you in a moment. Now I am going to put a little bit of compost on the top of each of these because some of them have sunk very very low. Now if you do decide to plant them straight outside wait until May. Don't do them now because it's too cold and they won't survive. So wait until May. If you're planting them inside, you can plant them in April, from sort of the middle of April onwards, which is where we are now, just slightly past. Now once you've done that, put the label in and stick them on a tray, leave them in the greenhouse, and we'll just wait for those to grow. So I'll just finish off doing these ones. Now what we're going to plant next, is the coriander. I'm going to plant this in a pot like this which I've sort of three quarters filled with compost. Now I've put them in a pot like this then I can just add them to the herb patch that I've got. Now if you don't pick your coriander and you leave it so that you then have the seeds for your curries and other meals then this is what they look like. Now these are the seeds so this is wonderful. So I'm going to use all of these. Just sprinkle them on top of some damp compost. There's quite a few in here but I do love coriander. I think it's a wonderful herb and when you've picked it freshly grown the flavour is far more intense than you would if you get it from the shop and far cheaper as well. So we will just cover that with a little bit more compost that will come through relatively quickly. You can put this straight outside if you want, but I'm going to grow it inside. Now this you can plant from April all the way through to June, and hopefully we can start to pick it in August as we've grown it in April. So I'll just label that, put the packet in. That was a very easy one to do. There we are, oh I better put it upside down otherwise I can't see what it is. There we are. Okay, there's that one. Right, well that's that for today. Next time we will be growing some courgettes 
and we will be growing some pumpkins as well. Not just plain old pumpkins, we will be trying to grow a really, really big one, but we'll soon see. I know a couple of little tricks which we will try and see if they work. So I hope to see you next time. Bye bye.